Good morning, Hakodate. What a difference an overnight can make. Look at this place today. The sun is shining, the sky is mostly blue. I am not taking the umbrella with me. I am hoping for the best. One million percent on yesterday. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm sitting over here to eat my breakfast. Then I'm gonna look at my little pass, an all day tram and bus pass, plus a number of little voucher ticket thingies. It's quite a nifty little idea. Let's go and have a look. It's a great big long thing. It's called Hakodate Special Ticket 2018. Even the guy in the tourist place said that's a silly name. On the back page, it has, this is the little ticket here at the top. That's the little ticket that allows for the bus and the tram. But these ones down here are points. There's 15 different points that you can use as individual vouchers for a number of attractions around the city or even for food. So for example, if I wanted to use the Mount Hakodate ropeway, it's eight points. Or if I want to go to the Gorokaku Tower, I can use six vouchers. The reason that I went with this is because if I was to go with an all-day tram pass, it would be 600 yen. An all-day bus pass was going to be 800 yen. The Mount Hakodate ropeway is 2100 yen. The Gorokaku Tower is about 1500 yen. So this represented a huge saving. It was an upsell for him, I guess, but when I looked at all of the different numbers, it completely made sense. Fingers crossed that the weather stays like this, because if it turns into something like yesterday, I will be leaving Hakodate and going somewhere else at the earliest possible opportunity. So this is what I've got for breakfast today. A trusty old bottle of green tea to stuff in my backpack and have at my leisure throughout the day. Tully's latte in a bottle. That's delicious. Kagome smoothie, these are also delicious. And then I have my two onigiri. So I've got two of these. They're rice with seaweed and filling. I have one with cod roast and one with sea urchin. How's that for putting yourself out there? This is the Go Ryokaku Tower. Go, bleh, go. Goryokaku. This is the Goryokaku Tower overlooking the Goryokaku Old Pentagonal Fort. It's such a mouthful, but I'm assuming it'll look nicer than it is easy to say. And just for novelty value, directly across the road from Goryokaku Tower is a place called Hamburger Lucky Purot. Hamburger Lucky Purot has hamburger curry spaghetti and soft cream angels chatter. Soft cream angels chatter, what the fuck? As with every tower I've seen in Japan so far, the Goidokaku Tower is a very impressive structure. Welcome to Goidokaku Tower. I should do their IBR here as well. Hakodate Port was Japan's first port open to Western trade, and this came about in a not entirely unexpected way. Commodore M.C. Perry, it says here in the booklet, Commodore M.C. Perry of the U.S. Navy demanded that the Tokugawa Shogunate open its doors to the rest of the world. Succumbing to the threat of force from the enormous black ships, the Shogunate concluded the Treaty of Peace and Amity between the United States of America and the Empire of Japan. The Americans were enforcing peace through the threat of military military violence. Do it or else. They're very good at that, aren't they? The star shape of this citadel is apparently based on a European concept from the 16th century that says any design that reduces the blind spots is uh, a better defense of the town or the force. They started constructing this in 1857. Construction finished in 1864 and in 1868 basically everything changed. The Shogunate era was over and the Meiji Restoration brought about a, a massive change to Japan and Japanese society generally. So there's some fairly interesting background there. I'm guessing this chap here is uh, the aforementioned Commodore M.C. Perry of the U.S. Navy. He of the enforced peace treaty with Japan. Very peaceful in that traditionally peaceful American way. I am absolutely petrified by these things, so I'm just going to look through the camera. I really, 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 really don't like standing on glass floors. Sign of the times, right?
tower and in the center of the fort is the old Hakodate Magistrate's office. There was a whole series of buildings in this compound. There's a little one down there. There's this one here and a few over there, but otherwise they're all gone. It's a beautiful place, especially on a day like today. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love that one of the original wash houses for the men who were based here has been turned into a wash house for those of us who still come here. when the sakura blooms this whole area is just teeming with cherry blossom and i can see that it's almost here it's almost happening they're almost ready to bloom possibly only in another week or so so i'm going to completely miss out which is a real shame people here are so lovely the man who i just passed and the lady who i passed just before him walking these little tiny dogs i couldn't help but look and smile kawaii all I said was that the dog was cute. <laughs> she's, she's obviously not used to foreigners compliment her dogs. The dog was very cute, I couldn't not say it. So I've just been into the go, 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 ryo, kaku, go, ryo, kaku, go, ryo, kaku. I've got a go, ryo, kaku. I've just been into the go, ryo, kaku. Um, Oh, now I can't remember what it's called. I've just been into the Gordio Kaku Fort. It is beautiful in there. There are so many cherry blossom trees here. It would be absolutely gorgeous when they've bloomed. I suspect because I'm so far north that it hasn't happened yet. I believe the cherry blossom blooms are going to come here in the By which time I'll be back in Sydney and at work. But a very, very depressing thought. Now, if there is anything more Japanese than this, I have yet to see it. Directly opposite the entrance to the Gorokaku Tower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine vending machines. Nine vending machines. Energy drinks. Coffee. Water, green tea. Water, coffee, tea. More coffee, more tea. Coffee, more tea. More coffee, more green tea. Coffee, more coffee, more green tea. <laughs> Peach Coke, lots of vitamin drinks and energy drinks. Ribbon, Napoleon, Match, Bickle, Gabunomi, Kalpas Big Soda, Grape 50, Gun Gun Gurt, 130 yen, dollar 30, with nothing you can't get from one of these nine vending machines. I've just come to the end of one of the tram lines to um, Yachigashiracho. Yachigashiracho. No, that's the name of the road. Yachigash. Yachigashira. 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 Anyway, I've come to the end of that tram line with the hope of visiting the local hot spring spa. Gaijin Gaijobu des. Foreigners are allowed. I get to the gate and it's closed on the second Tuesday of every month. But it means that I get to Yachigashirocho, that road right there, and I get that view up to Mount. Hakodate. Looks a little bit like something from Twin Peaks, to be fair. Look at this beautiful retro tram with its look, its gorgeous orange, uh, what is this stuff? Velour, I think. Orange velour. It's that stuff that goes a different color when you press on it. Isn't it beautiful? And look at the way it shows up so bright in the sun. Fantastic. I love these old trams. They're so cool. It's even got a timber floor. A hard timber floor. Fantastic. I've come to the outskirts of Hakodate to a small town called Yunokawa. It's known for its hot springs. It's the place that a lot of people have heard about where the monkeys bathe in the hot springs, which I was actually going to look at until I did a little bit more research and found that it's all really artificial, like a zoo. So instead, I've come here. This is a public foot bath, still from Natural Spring. The jury's out on whether foot baths actually do anything or whether it's psychological, but you know, who cares really? If it does something good, then it does something good. Who cares really why? So, you Sam, you Oh, I beg your pardon. Is, is it okay if I video? Is that okay? I won't, I won't put you in the video. How racist of me, I just assumed she was Japanese. Whoops. <laughs> Maybe no real Japanese people come to these things at all. There. 
It is steaming, so I assume it's really hot. Shit. I hope this hot water is warmer than the cement I just put my feet on. Let's have a go. Oh, 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 oh. My feet are so cold that it's... My feet were so cold that this water is actually burning them. so weird that this is just a long rectangular pool of steaming hot water that's being drawn from a natural hot spring in the ground, probably a hundred metres below, if not further. That's really strange in itself, but the fact that I'm just sitting here on a street corner doing this, it's at the middle of an intersection, that's weird as well. The other weird thing is that now my feet have been in here for however long, it's still really, really hot. Now, I don't know whether that indicates that my feet were really, really cold or the water is actually really, really hot. My feet are super, super hot. My ankles, not so much. But my feet are super, super hot and it feels absolutely fantastic. Probably going to feel quite so fantastic when I pull them out into the cold breeze, which is making the rest of me feel even colder now that my feet are super hot. But this is fantastic. It's a shame I couldn't find a whole body hot spring to go to, but there's always Sendai. There might be something in Sendai, who knows? So that was probably 15 minutes and my feet seriously feel so nice after that. My legs feel, they were kind of achy from all the walking before, but my legs feel lovely, my feet feel lovely. It was just so relaxing to just sit there with my feet in hot water. They just feel, they feel amazing. They feel so lovely right now. I wonder how long it'll last. Things are obviously changing here. I'm going out on a limb. I could have followed a map. I could have followed the street signs. That's the Mount Hakodate Ropeway right there where those little pink and purple lights are. And the big shining light at the top of the hill. There's a church down there. How wrong can I go if I just wander the suburban streets in the dark, which is not especially dark? Speaking of not being especially dark, look at these street lights. They're really fancy. The kind of light fitting you would have found in your grandmother's old house. I think the base station is this way, so I'm just gonna turn this way and keep heading upwards, because if I keep heading upwards, I have to get there, right? It's amazing the beautiful sights you just happen to pond just came down from that beautiful ropeway and as I'm walking away to go down the hill there is this fantastic tori and this beautiful looking shrine. I would have thought all these things were closed in the evening and I'm sure they probably are but that looks just magnificent in the dark with the lights on like that. 